Zidane And the, as well the third, so the only way down, he finishes you off with the left hook oh. What's good, YouTube? Stormy B Man, and I'm back with another video commentary. Before we get started, I'd like to say shout out to the LDBC, Lion Stand Boxing Community, New Media, and Liberated Perspective, the third eye view of the world. For more content such as this, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. This is fight week and as we zero in on the WBC and IBF unification match between welterweight champions Showtime, Sean Porter and Earl Spence Jr. Boxing is a buzz with the anticipation of a glamour fight, something we've just not seen enough of recently. As the two champions approach fight week, it has risen to a crescendo of war of words, each acknowledging the excitement that they held for exacting disappointment on the other. And due to the reservation of each man, the words they've spoken give a peek into what each man harbors and desires as they both explore victory. For WBC champ Sean Porter, he's spoken of breaking space in a variety of ways, acknowledging being an underdog, but is always down for a surprise. Sean thinks that Earl is feeling himself and is arrogant. He's not surprised to be the underdog and is a blue collar fighter, having to work hard for his achievements. He's feeling that previous opponents have submitted to Earl but he has a style and determination that won't typify his efforts equating him with past challengers. For Earl Spence, the IBF champ, he covets the WBC belt, having always dreamt of owning that title. In particular, Earl says he wants to punish Sean with relative no mercy as they face one another. Earl has said he has a lot of dog in himself and is willing to do whatever it takes for victory, citing he's more loyal to his dream of championships because that's how he feeds his family than he is to friendships. And Earl has told Sean to his face, I'm gonna knock you out. I'm gonna punish you. This is awesome pre-fight talk from two world champions who are in the sport at the top of their game and respectfully within the sport. Speaking of defining their titles with their efforts. Bo, Brazen, and Bravado, channeling champions of yore. I'm certain there'll be more this week as the weigh-in is Friday. I think this has the same energy as years ago in 1999 when Oscar De La Hoya took on Felix Trinidad. We'll have more as we head into Saturday's showdown, but that's it for now. Let me know what you think. This is Stormy B-Man, and until we meet again, peace.